of the Bible, and I've started from the beginning, Genesis, it seems that there are some uh, points where some things were allowed because of that particular error. That's true. Uh, versus the, uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mm -hmm. One of the things um, was the hoofed animals, about yeah. eating the hoofed animals. Yeah. Um, some of the other things are a bit confusing to me, and I'd like you to perhaps tell us about some of the things that were allowed in one testament because of that time and now it is no longer allowed. Yes, very good. You're dealing with a dietary law. The Old Testament had a dietary law in reference to hoof animals and also uh, species that have fins and certain type of animals like pig or which is most time called swine. Well, those things were forbidden to be eaten under the time of Moses, which had an Old Testament dietary law. That's right. You also got a New Testament dietary law That's in right. the 14th chapter of the book of Romans. In Romans chapter? That's right. Now, there are things that they wasn't allowed to eat in the Old Testament, but when it came to the New Testament, those things was no longer forbidden. That's right. Listen at this. For one believeth that he may eat all things. One believeth he can eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. One eat herbs. You have those today. And this scripture is dealing with today. today. Someone that eat herbs who don't eat no meat. Mm -hmm. If you don't want no meat, there's no transgression there. You don't need to hear a voice from heaven that says, put down the bacon. Amen. But if you do eat catfish today, there is no violation of the principle of the book. That's right. Another who is weak eateth herbs. Yes. Let not him that eateth. Let not him that eateth. Despise him. Look down on him. That eateth not. That don't eat it. And let not him which eateth and not. And let not him that eateth not. Judge him that eateth. Do you hear that? For God hath received him. If God, if God received the one that eat pork, then don't you judge him. That's the dietary law did change mm -hmm. in the New Testament. Shambles, shambles mean mock it, yeah. but you got to pray over it. That's right. And it's sanctified yeah. through the word of God right. and in prayer. So uh, now, and Jesus cast the devils out. The devils went into the swine, and the swine went in the water and drowned. And that lets me know that pig is unclean. Well, if that's the reason why you won't eat hog, you better stop drinking water. Because right. right. after the devil got in the pig, the devil and the pig went in the water and drowned the hog. That's right. You go around too long without drinking. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashim. Yahawasha, Bahashim, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, fellow laborers, you followers of the truth, even you few sisters, the few of you that follow the true doctrine, and mainly shalom to the elect. I want to go back on this video here that I went before um, months back. And I wanted to get to the statement uh, that a Pastor Gino Jennings, I remarked that he left, which was completely, completely wrong, right? Um, and it's def definitely something that you tell the people, the sheeple, they're, they're there to listen and they're there, they're there to learn. And um, this is what he has to offer, but remember the Lord sends them there. But it may be someone who's willing to come out of that to come to the truth you know you can't say you a fellow believer of the most high and you're not trying to do to the best of your ability I don't buy it you know they can say oh I'm a believer that's nothing but a Christian on steroids man but anyway we want to go into this thing with um, the shambles I'll go into that again also um, uh, the thing he talked about with Yahweh Shah put the, uh, took the devil the spirits and put them in the swine and drown the swine we'll get into that as well um, first let's go to what scripture was that I think in Luke um, 8 833 I'm just get to the point because it's a lot in here then I'm a short sum, sum up all you gotta do is read the chapters you know as you go along it says then went the devils well I gotta get to a little more than meat I really want to just get to the point. It says, and there was a herd of many swine feeding. This is Luke 8 and 20, 32. And there was a herd of uh, many swine feeding on the mountains, right? On the mountain. And they besought him 
that he would suffer them to enter into them talking about the spirits and he suffered them right then went the devils out of the man right and entered into the swine and the herd, herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and were choked so I don't know if he's you know this Geno Jennings character responding I did a video prior on if you um, believe that you're supposed to eat swine why did Yahweh put the um, the devils the spirits in the swine and not any other animals why didn't he feed the multitude of the animals well it's simply this you, all you got to do is go to the book of Ephesians <clears throat> that's an easy answer would have came to my mind quick and it did um, Ephesians Ephesians um, 5 and 25 husbands love your wives even as Yahweh also loved the church and gave himself for it uh, where was the account where Yahweh ate swine or crabs there is none okay and if he wanted us to do it why didn't he did it if Paul said to go ahead and eat it why didn't Yahweh eat it husbands love your wives even as Yahweh also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word right so that's the purpose of the water as a cleanser this is why you go um, uh, when you get baptized when John the Baptist was baptizing he was being washed uh, by, by the water which represents cleaning when you wash take a shower you clean right the water washes off you goes back down to the drain and it's a recycled process it's that simple uh, when your body you know you have something called osmosis where the body collects okay and, and it's in it um, in a manner of cycling and using a fluid or liquid to cycle like your kidneys the way they work the blood goes through the kidney and it extracts the water and the minerals whatever it needs for the body and the other goes to waste you know all our bodies recycle everything recycles right so it's that concept it's cleansing right it's just a cleansing agent so when you're dealing with the reason why he drowned him in the water because the water represents cleansing and in the water you have clean animals so now this guy would say well since there's unclean animals in the water why, why might as well not drink water <laughs> these excuses that these guys use man there's no excuse that's not acceptable there's clean animals there's unclean animals right, right? clean in insects unclean right clean bird files unclean files there's a reason why when an animal dies in the water or a person they pull a dead body up the first thing you see is the three things Jake loves crabs shrimp and lobster right the three things before the bacteria gets it if the bacteria gets it they, they tend to leave it alone and now that the crabs and the shrimp and everything is out of the water now you have a situation where you're having pollution okay anyway it's real that's it's just that simple water is a cleanser it's a purifier the water comes up on the ocean uh, up on the uh, the sand hits the rocks come back in goes back up again it does this over and over and over again it's a filtration system this is crazy man this is unbelievable you drink water it comes out okay this is crazy anyway let's go to Proverbs 14 and 15 the simple believe of every word but the prudent man looketh well right to his goings right so the simple will just believe that you know and this what these guys these people are they don't know they're just simple okay um, uh, anyway that this was the law right going into the law okay now when you go back to the history when you go back in the ancient days why did the Most High say um, uh, what to eat and what not to eat because at first you would you would eat the um, herbs obviously um, you know especially after the Noah and the, the situation 
and you, you ate herbs because the earth had to be replenished right and then it was okay to eat the meats but there were lawful meats there's an order why would why would the Most High say not to eat swine? Why would he say not to eat catfish? Or why would he say not to eat these things? For what reason? It's because science. The Most High is the ultimate scientist, knowing all. Let's get this uh, article. Um, it's there's a reason why the Most High said not to eat the pig, Leviticus 11 chapter, and, and various other animals. You heard the saying, you are what you eat. Anyway, this little article, I don't know, you can pull this stuff up anywhere. Here's why you should stay away from pigs, or uh, let me say pork. It says, um, pigs um, eat their own feces as well as the feces of other animals. Feces simply meant to be excreted, excre excreted not men mentioned to uh, the toxins feces contain. Also, pigs naturally feed on dead carcasses, scraps. The exposure, much less the consumption of animals' carcasses, is dangerous for humans since carcasses contain maggots, parasites, microbes, and disease tra transmitting bacteria. So we do understand that pigs take this, uh, this food and they have a slow window of digestion right a four hour let me say a, a a four hour digestion or something they don't pro digest food properly well for them they do they're good animals if, it, if it's what they're used for and they don't sweat they have no sweat glands there's a reason why you sweat to cool yourself and to permit yourself from getting backed up toxins <clears throat> okay um, well, here we go. The digestive system is rather basic. I didn't see this. The digestive system of a pig is not com complex enough to excrete all toxins it consumes. Pigs complete their digestion process in roughly four hours, as opposed to cows take about 24 hours. <clears throat> okay. As a result, many toxins remain in the bodies because their bodies are meant to have that. Um, <clears throat> I even had an elder man of the world told the doctor told him don't eat pork because that's uh, the, the main causes of colon cancer uh, bladder cancer, colon cancer I read all this before so I'm reading the article and it's all the stuff that I know it's, it's actually saying it as I'm reading on so you know you pretty much get the point let's go to um, 1 Corinthians 10 and, and, and uh, when he talks about the shambles right let me go up to get more understanding of that Okay. First uh, Corinthians 10 and 21. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient, are not really profitable. Right? All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Let not no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles that eat, asking no questions for conscience sake, right? Now, when you go into the history of that, you had men that were sacrificing food um, because you had men that didn't really believe in the sacrifice of Yahawashah. So they were still sacrificing. And Paul knew. But Paul was saying, this is why he said all things are lawful for me, but, uh, uh, but all things are not profitable. They're not expedient. That would be an example of, um, well, I'll keep reading. I'll get the example that's going to break down itself. If any man of any of them that believe not bid you to, to a feast, and ye be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you eat, asking no questions for conscience sake. But if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, there we go, eat not for his sake, uh, that is shewed, that shewed it, and for conscience sake, for the earth is of the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So um, you had Jake who would sacrifice unto idols certain foods to say it'll make you live better, you'll eat better. 
And, and Paul is saying this stuff ain't profitable. So this would be an example. There's a brother coming up. We go to the store. And we decide to buy, say, some fried chicken. And he said, I know somebody who worked in there, and they cook it in nothing but pork. Because we don't know. So you would say, well, okay, man, I, I'm not eating that. You know? But on the other hand, you might go somewhere else and eat chicken, and you know nobody says nothing about it, and you just eat it. Because you don't know. Half this stuff is, you know, this is where grace and mercy is bestowed. You're not supposed to willingly sin, willfully sin, and go out and buy uh, pork written food, so to speak. But if you eat a bag of potato chips, all this stuff is cured in preservatives, which is lined by pork. So if a brother say, hey man, I wouldn't eat that because it's got some, I believe it's got pork in it, for the conscience sake, you don't know. So you'd be like, all right, we won't eat it. You get the point. But those things that was in, in, that was showed those meats was not swine. That's another thing. That had nothing to do with swine. Okay. Um, it says, but if any man say unto you, this is offered to sacrifice in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake who shewed it, and for conscience' sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So at the end of the day, Yahweh was the ultimate sacrifice. You don't have to worry about that. So if the food come, whether it's so-called sacrifice or whatever, you pray over it, you eat it. But it's still lawful foods. This is not talking about these men didn't come up. This was the customs of the Israelites. So we didn't come up with the swine on the table and the sacrifice. These is what these guys, Geno Jennings, you know, these guys just make it up as they go along because they, they want an excuse to willfully sin. And they're sending people to that direction, you know, to willfully sin. Uh, it says, conscious, I say not thine own, but of thy other, right? For thy other, right? Because if somebody comes to you with a uh, 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 food is in, somebody else says, well, man, don't eat that. Yeah, for the conscious sake, you go in the brother's house, you know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to tell them, as long as the brother's uh, lawful, doing the best he can, but all things are not profitable. So, you know, you don't go in a brother's house and look at his ingredients and tell him that he think it's swine in there because of such and such and such. If you don't see a pack of chitlins or a pack of ham or some pork in there or something, then, you know, but if a brother say, hey, I don't want to eat that, such and such, then none of y'all eat it. You get the point. Um... For if by grace be partakers why I am evil spoken of for that for which I gave thanks. So we understand why um, Paul caught a lot of hell. Um, uh, let's go to 31. Where, 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 whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatever ye do, do all to the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Give none offense neither to the Jews nor to the Gentiles or to the church of Yahweh. Okay, so we um, we pretty much get the point there. Anyway, um, I just wanted to touch on that. You know, when he was when he talked about the shambles and the food and the shambles, that was dealing with a situation of lawful foods, but of sacrificed foods, so to speak. So you would, uh, um, you know, you had over righteous Jake. Okay, which we've met some in the truth. You, you know, when you first come in the truth, you're pretty much over righteous. You're on this super fire thing. You know, I had a brother tell me, "Don't go in there and get that chicken. I think it's cooked in pork." There was one brother that said, um, "They they called me and asked me um, should they eat some bologna that they went to a deli because they don't believe the blade was cleaned off right." They believe that that whole that same blade was cooking pork. Well, if you think that way, you should never go into a damn deli in the first place. <laughs> Keep your ass out of delis. But I got news for you: when you go buy that pack of bologna, you just don't know. We will eat food defiled amongst the heathen. This is saying that you don't go willfully buy some goddamn pig or some crabs and shrimp. You know, 
That's where the grace and the mercy is bestowed. Anyway, that's all I have on that show.